Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Recently, the Flames of the Nether DLC got released, which brought us some very awesome new unique weapons and armor. Today, I'll be showcasing the Living Vines armor, rooting enemies along the way. In this video, I will show you where to get it, and if you already found one, show you my tips and tricks regarding enchantments to get the best out of this new unique item for your build. So guys, let's get right to it. The Living Vines Armor, part of the Sprout Armor family, which you will be able to find on both the Crimson Forest right there and then also on the Soul Sand Valley. I think this is a very awesome piece of armor to get your hands on for both poison and roll builds, maybe even speedrun builds. I actually got my hands on this one yesterday, which is looking to be almost perfect for me. Chance to spawn emeralds on exploring was not very interesting, but poison focus, multi-roll and acrobat, well, it pretty much allows me to keep rolling like a flipping knee and shoot my arrows at the same time when you combine it with a pretty nice weeping vine bow like this one. Anyways, that's for another video. So the living vines armor is part of the sprout armor family. Health potions, heal nearby allies and the traps and poisons nearby mobs when rolling are both built-in enchantments on those. But the unique variant also has the reduced roll cooldown which is a tier 1 acrobat. Acrobat reduces the cooldown time between your rolls and on tier 1 this is a minus 50% reduced cooldown. Not fantastic, but it can definitely help you out a little bit. Moving on to this unique Gilded variant, which I found yesterday. I think this one is already pretty cool. It has a tier 3 reduced cooldown on artifacts and also a chilling or final shout enchantment or protection. You can go very defensive with this first slot. Then also lightning focus, electrified and bag of souls. And then last but not least, reckless and speed synergy. Speed synergy could be something very interesting because of course this one can focus a little bit on both speed running and rolling when activating any artifact you gain extra movement speed so yes could be very nice then also if you fight a combination of both electrified to roll zap in nearby enemies and the lightning focus well you will deal a lot of damage while rolling with this one and then of course at the same time with the built-in enchantment traps and poisons nearby mobs when rolling this can be extremely interesting and that is also why i am tweaking around a little bit with the poison focus because boy oh boy if you can root enemies deal a lot of damage a lot of poison damage at the same time i think that can be very interesting and of course if you want to do many of those rolls well the multi roll and of course also the acrobat are going to be very great additions to the build like I already said, the Weeping Vine Bow is going to be part of the build which I'm currently working on and the reason why is because this bad boy has a Burst Bow String to shoot nearby mobs when you roll as well as the Tempo Theft so I can always steal their movement speed as well. And the cool thing is this one also has charged arrows after roll. So every time when I roll I fully charge my arrows and at the same time I will shoot all my arrows so that is pretty funky. Let's just equip the combo right here. I know it is not the Living Vine's armor itself but uh, we only get the reduced roll cooldown as the unique exclusive, so I think both of them are actually pretty interesting. I think the looks on the Living Vines armor are definitely cooler though, because the red looks, guys, they are the best ones in combination with the Weeping Vine bow, but I really want to show you guys exactly what this one does in action. All right, so we're running this on a higher Apocalypse Plus difficulty, 7 plus 20 right now, but um, this will allow you to see how much damage this will actually deal to my enemies. So uh, I'm just going to look for a couple of them, and and uh, then we're gonna start rolling, guys. All right, here is a little Hawkling already. Look at that. I just roll. This will, of course, shoot the vines, which will, uh, first of all, entangle them. But at the same time, the poison damage is out of this world, guys. It deals so much damage, which is why I think it could be very interesting to use as a future build. I just cracked up the difficulty Apocalypse level 7 plus 23. And right now we're gonna do some rolls near some cows. Look at this guy, seriously, it will deal so much damage, snare all the enemies in place and at the same time with this Weeping Vine Bow I also have the uh, gravity so I will pull every single one of them pretty close to each other. So yes, I will pretty much be able to stack them right on top of the poison and it will take them down in all these seconds. I have yet to find the perfect Living Vines armor for this build, but really this one already came pretty close with the reduced artifact cooldown. It's just a shame that I didn't find any nice enchantment slots out there. Definitely a 10 to 10 once again for the aesthetics of this piece of armor. It doesn't only look very good, but at the same time it also feels good when playing with this one. But really, another cooldown enchantment definitely won't hurt on this build as you will be able to use your artifacts quite frequently. And if you want to use rolls, guys, seriously, you can also focus on things like uh, the feather because these actually also count towards rolling. 
So yeah, there you have it, the living vines armor. I think it's a very cool looking piece of armor, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna see a lot of play on the higher Apocalypse Plus difficulties because it simply doesn't add up any movement speed. It doesn't add up any cooldowns. It doesn't add up any tankiness. So yes, a hybrid build with some rolling, with some poison damage is definitely gonna be extremely interesting, which I'm um, working on right now. But um, yes, if you have some interesting suggestions for your fellow Minecraft Dungeons players for this one, Definitely make sure to leave it in the comments down below as it is a very special piece of armor. All right, so guys, there you have it. Everything you need to know about this awesome new unique. Now you know where to find it and which enchantments you should focus on when going for that ultimate build. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second and subscribe for more because there is so much more Minecraft Dungeons on the channel and coming your way. Also, make sure to check out my Discord, which is in the description. Our community is growing like crazy right there, so trade items, team up with others, take part in events like giveaway contests, and so much more. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Right now, it is 4am out. I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care.